Okay guys, this is the fourth video in the challenge and I think we will um, have a look at how the EV3 robot turn and move and everything like that. So I'll put the robot down here for a moment. In fact, let's see. I think we will change it a little bit and put the robot down there for now. So for now, let's have it like that. Good. So guys, the first thing that I'm going to look at is the motors. So if you look at this, it shows you there is a B and a C motor. And then my sensors is in port 1 and port 3. So B and C is the only connected motors. You cannot use A or D for this. It's either B or C or B plus C. So if we want to move forward. So this one, move steering. This move steering command. I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to give it a, uh, a, a comment box and say this is move steering. Move steering, and this equals going forward. So, move steering equals going forward. Now, let's have a look at this. The options that we have for this block is on rotations. We do not want to use rotations, not for what we are doing at the moment. Degrees is a good one that we use, but we can go look at the other options also. So, degrees is the primary one that I'm going to use, but on for seconds is you can put it on for two or three seconds and then it will go off on means this one we use normally with sensors and this one is just turning the motors off so at this moment on for degrees is what we are interested in now move steering is a block that i prefer to use just going forward so this arrow should always show straight up and this should be zero this one if you look at it it shows power 50% power for what we are doing is just fine. We don't need to change the power. And this solid circle shows that it is for degrees. And 360 degrees equals one rotation. So for this a rectangle that we have here, the distance would be 1050 degrees, 1050 degrees to move forward. That's what we are going to do. So if I run this program, The robot will go forward up to the end of the line like it just did there. Okay, so that's fantastic. Let's get it back. Now, that is a straightforward command. You do not have to do anything else with it. Uh, you do not have to set this. You do not have to set the power. You can set the power to go faster if you want, but it's really irrelevant for what we are doing here. So there, there we go. So it's straightforward there going faster and the moment you're going faster it's getting more difficult to control the robot especially the distance it got because it will always have that little bit extra that it's done before it really kind of get to a standstill that's the first thing now we are going straight forward there but if we want to go straight backwards we can just change this to minus power so we make it minus 50 like that and the robot going straight backwards like this there you see it so forward go steering for plus power go forward minus power go backward very important remember that that's the first thing move steering now the next one is large motor there and we are going to put it in there and it should be a b this is a normal turn so again i'm changing it to degrees for normal turn let's say it's about 460 degrees for a turn so what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to take this one out and I'll give this one a B motor turn. So this is turn to the right. Turn to the right for my robot. So turn to the right. And we aim to turn about 90 degrees to the right. So let's see what happens. Now that is not quite the 90 degree turn as you can see. So we'll have to make it a little bit more like let's say about 500 degrees so let's try this again there's our robot it should go straight on the line and we'll try that again it's still not quite where it should be i think we can improve it like about 520 then we should be okay 
So this is a turn and the turns are normally um, very close together. That's pretty close. You can see on the line with the wheel there, it is pretty close. So that is a normal forward turn where the B motor on that side and the left side starts up and it turns while the C motor is standing still. That is one way of turning. But we can also turn another way. And this is just normal turning. So I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to put it there and I'm going to, let's just uh, copy this one for a moment and put it in there. And now we are going to do a reverse turn. And the reverse turns, I like to use reverse turns. So we're going to use C, a C turn. Let's make it a C turn. C reverse turn. So we've got a C reverse turn. So I'm going to, it's also going to turn right. But now the C motor on the right side is going to reverse to turn the robot to the right. So let's do this. And okay, we'll set it at 50. And look what happens now. And there we go. That is a C reverse turn, and you will immediately see. Uh, yep, we can probably take it down to about 500 because it overturns a little bit. And we can try that again. There we go. Way better. It's not perfect yet, but way better. So I guess it should should be about 480 if you go for it. So this is just the way in which the robot turns. Sometimes reverse turns is just a little bit less stressful on the robot than a normal forward turn. Yes, that looks a whole lot better. Okay, so we've got our turns. This is a C reverse turn. Now I'm going to take this one and put it there. So we've got move steering go forward normal turn to the right with a B forward turn and then a C reverse turn always turn to the also turn to the right uh, we can put it in there turn to the right also All right. also there we go so there's our turn sorted out and I'm going to move this up there and I'm going to move this up there a little bit out of the way and I'll use this one a little bit lower so Maybe I should do this and get it a little bit lower there. That would be just fine. Just a little bit out of the way. So I'm going to use these things now. So that one, um, if I press the control key, hold it down, I can copy it and take it there and drop it there. So I know this will go the, the width of the rectangle. Then the next thing I'm going to use is C reverse then. So let's see what happens. Control key, hold down, drag to to that and there we go so the next one I want to go forward again so I hold down the control uh, select that thing hold down the control key do that but now that is the long leg of this thing so it should be 1280 roughly so let's see how well we can get this robot to move on the square so we'll try that and see what happens um, oops <laughs> that won't work too well Maybe I should just get this thing to go forward. Sorry, guys. There we go. Go forward. And that's obviously also going forward. So there we go. So let's try this again. I'm going to make sure that well, that's better. It should be okay there. Going on the line. Turn. Going there. Okay. Let's do another turn. We'll do a turn. Control again, there we go, and I'm going to fetch it and put it down again and see what happens. So we are pretty much where we should be. Okay, so we'll try this again and see what happens. There we go, this one, like about there, I want my left wheel to stay on the line all the time. That's how we're going to do that. Let's try that and see. Okay, maybe I should just add another forward. We can use that forward because that's a short leg. We'll put it in there and see what happens. So forward. So let's try that. So we're a little bit off. 
I think our C410, we can probably make it about 480. Uh, uh, 485, let's say 490. We'll do it 490. And that one also 490. So we'll see what happens. Let's try this again. Okay, so we run it one more time. And that is on a reverse turn, guys. That's pretty okay. That just look fine there. Yes. Still on the line there. Perfect. Okay, we got another C turn. Let's do that. C reverse turn. We put it in. And I'm going to take another forward and put it in there. So let's see what happens if we do that. Okay, so we'll run it one more time. Okay, so this is our square programming. This is the move blocks that we used all the time. Okay, that was placed badly. Right, that happens when you place it really bad. And, uh, yeah, typically, <laughs> typically that's what happens also if you don't concentrate on what you're doing, which is also bad. So, let's do this. Um, our last forward, that one is terrible, so let me delete it. We've got that one. Let's just copy it from there. There we go. So, um, forward, turn, forward, turn, forward, turn, forward, and you're probably going to need one more turn. So, let's do that. Put it in there. There we go. That is fine on our turns. Okay, so... We'll see if that is better like that.